everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. Uh, today and the rest of the week is Indie Week. Indie Small Press? Both. Um, so we're going to be doing uh, four books and then, uh, not today, <laughs> we'll be doing a book Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then on Friday I'll be doing uh, a top five uh, ind Indie Small Press Horror Top Five Friday. Um, but today we are talking about my good friend. I need to tell you up front before I say anything else. I have worked with this author. Um, I have, uh, what is it called? Um, commissioned artwork from them. They are a good friend of mine, a longtime friend. Um, and that is Cassie Daly. Uh, this is her debut novella, Brutal Hearts. Um, it is a short, I, I guess it'd be a novella. It's about, what, a hundred and... Let's see here. Yeah, it's 148 pages. All the books this week are going to be novellas. I needed short stuff that I could uh, review in time uh, to get them up here on the channel. And I didn't want to do books that I had read previously. I also didn't want to tackle anything large. So they're all novellas. Um, the storyline behind Brutal Hearts is as follows. A group of friends go up onto a mountain where a year before one of their boyfriends had uh, disappeared, vanished. Um, I like this book for the simple fact that it is uh, kind of like an homage to uh, Christopher Pike and uh, that that era of I think it's set in 1994 1997 something like that so it's a 90s baby um, I enjoyed many aspects of it I enjoyed the the creature I enjoyed uh, the interaction between the friends and because of that, I'm going to give the book three stars. I did have several issues with the book, um, and I'm not going to go into great detail here because most of them are subjective. I will say objectively, there were quite a few errors, and I think the book could have had at least one more proofreader. Um, but as far as the age group that this is, this is aimed at, I'm not totally sure that too many people are going to notice. And I'm not saying that younger people don't pay attention to errors and whatnot. They're just more forgiving than us old heads. Um, especially someone like me who I have an issue, and this is my problem, I have an issue getting past uh, multiple errors uh, in a book um, because my editor brain kicks in because I'm a writer um, myself and I'm like, okay, well, that, that needs to be fixed, that needs to be fixed, and it takes me out of the story. So that is a that is my one major criticism here, that it could have been a bit cleaner. Other than that, it, it's a perfectly serviceable story. It was uh, good enough that I finished it. Um, and I, like I said, I did, in, I did enjoy the creature, even though I feel that the reveal at the end was rather obvious. Um, and I hate, I hate to say any of this stuff. Um, if you can't tell, I'm a bit conflicted and nervous today because um, Cassie is my friend and I tend to be brutally honest <laughs> brutal hearts anyways I tend to be brutal brutally honest with my friends um, some people don't like that about me other people other people do but I say all this in the hopes that uh, that you know they'll I don't I don't even want to say that they'll take my advice and grow none of that stuff I'm just I know I know that Cassie has a future ahead of her. I know that uh, this is definitely a debut novel, um, and there is a lot of uh, potential here. Um, there are just some things that subjectively I did not care for. Um, another thing is there's a bit of, and this is like Cassie's whole thing too, so I, I kind of, I, I don't even want to mention this as a criticism, but the, the book has a bit of, of an identity crisis in so much that it it reads very much like middle grade um, younger YA but it is very very brutal again <laughs> keywords brutal brutal hearts anyways um, and I, I do I do wonder about the the target audience like who who would I give this to would I give it to my uh, my oldest who's 17 yes I would would I give it to uh, my youngest who's 10 I probably wouldn't um, so as far, but that's always been Cassie's Cassie's thing as long as I've known her you mixing the hor horrible and the horror along with the bright colors and the the rainbow scheme all that stuff um, she is definitely a light in the darkness 
Um, and this book was kind of like the opposite, a darkness in the light. Because if you, to read the stuff that's at the end of the book, or even some of the stuff that's in the middle of the book, you look at this cover and you think that is a very cute, very colorful, very pretty color cover. Some of the stuff in there it doesn't fit, so that's where I'm. T that's what I'm talking about when I say identity crisis. Um, but these are just my opinions. Uh, I, I'm sure that I know people love this book, um, and I liked it well enough. Um, I was, like I said, distracted by the by the errors. Um, there were quite a few, enough so that I started um, not taking count, but I started marking them so that I can pass them along to Cassie. Cassie, if you're watching this and you want them, let me know. But there's some on page 58, 60, 62, 73, 87, 124. There's quite a few, and those are the, that's only when I started counting. Um, so it could have been cleaner, but, uh, you know, subjectively... The story wasn't really for me, even though I didn't want to stop reading it. But I do hope that Cassie continues writing. Um, I see, I see potential here, and I would read anything else that she comes across. And I know this video is very awkward, and I'm sorry, but I wanted to get this review up because I promised her that I would read it and that I would review it. Um, for 31 days of Halloween. So there you have your review, Cassie. I hope you don't hate me because I love you to death. Um, so many times in the past I have been honest about uh, my friend's books and I have lost those friendships. Um, so I hope that doesn't happen here, but I can only be honest with my following and I can only be honest with you. But have you read Brutal Hearts by Cassie Daly? If you have, let me know what you think about it down there in the doobly-doo. Um, but until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.